Hey guys, uh, welcome to your tw January 2022, uh, not 2022, 2023 prediction reading for Aquarius. Uh, this could be in any replacements because this reading can be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for January 2023. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, uh, Aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so tell me about um, Aquarius for January 2023. Tell me about Aquarius for January 2023. What does Aquarius need to know for January 2023? Tell me about Aquarius for January 2023. Tell me about Aquarius for January 2023. So we have the Five of Pentacles, okay. And the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, financially, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're definitely going through some sort of financial burden here, okay? I do feel like you're struggling financially, but I feel like you're still kind of like optimistic about it. You know, you, I, I feel like you're still living your life and doing the best you can here. You need a 10 of wands, okay? You know, this could be indication that, you know, you're struggling with insecurities here. You're still dealing with a lot of trauma and pain that you still haven't let go of yet, okay? Let's see what else we have here. We have a seven of cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of financial struggle here. You know, this is really interesting because I do feel like you will overcome this, okay? So whatever is going on here, I just feel like you're going through a con really confusing period right now, a, conf a confusing time in January with the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. You know, I do feel like there's an energy of holding on to hope that, yeah, your finances could improve here. And I feel like it will because that Nine of Pentacles is an energy of someone here who's very financially uh, stable and sufficient, okay? Um, you know, the Four of Pentacles could be an indication that you are saving up money. You are saving up money for, you know, something here or to just to, you know, get yourself out of, fin of a financial situation here, okay? Tell me about the uh, Five of Pentacles here. Five of Pentacles here and the Devil. Hmm. King of Wands here. Yeah, financially, I feel like you're not doing really well. King of Wands here. You know, Two of Swords. I just, I just feel like you're really, really confused here. Okay. Um, you know, I just feel like you're, you're, you're in this energy of, you know, basically having a very, very, very rigid structure here when it comes to your life, when it comes to work here. And I feel like you're doing the right thing here or that you're, you're, you feel like you're doing everything right in order for you to overcome this, okay? So, you know, um, this is so interesting because I feel like, you know, the energy is kind of like very opposing here because like I feel like there's an energy of optimism here, you know, but there's an energy of definitely thinking or feeling very negatively surrounding your finances or your material goods, even, even your home life here, okay? So I'm going to have the Ten of Wands here. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Seven of Cups here, and the Two of Pentacles here. I feel like you're just juggling a lot. Yeah, I, I just feel like what I'm feeling like, the way that you're trying to move through this is kind of like really tapping into your higher self here, really tapping into that intuition here. Just, you know, it's kind of like allowing your body to let you know that, you know, what's right, what's wrong, you know, basically what's right, this is your body accepting it, what's wrong, this is your body rejecting it, because our bodies do have a neat ability to do that. The uh, Four of Pentacles here and the Lovers, the Nine of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. This could be an indication that going into January, I feel like, you know, maybe someone here is holding on to a relationship and is not letting go. Okay, you know, I feel like some here might be fearing letting someone go, 
Now, this could be you that's fearing this or the person that you're dealing with. So keep in mind that um, we are heading into Mercury retrograde. So let's say, you know, I mean, if you're not missing an ex, you know, you don't want to deal with an ex anymore. You're not, you haven't thought about them in years, you know, I mean, this could be an ex that's missing you. So, you know, just keep in mind, you know, a lot of past stuff does come up during Mercury retrograde. Okay. So uh, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Aquarius for January, 2023? What does Aquarius need to look out for, work on for January, 2023? <clears throat> Gemini energy without lovers here, okay? We have a seven of wands here and justice. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that for January, you know, if you guys haven't done so yet or that you guys might be in the process of doing this is to have, learn strong boundaries with people. Yeah, it, it could be an indication that, you know, you know, Aquarius, you guys are so friendly that you might get taken advantage of very easily by people, okay? And I feel like when that happens, it kind of puts you in this very negative space. So I feel like you're learning how to do that. Um, we have the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Also, I feel like, you know, for January 2023, you know, I feel like you're learning how to move on and let go because I feel like you tend to hold on to things here, maybe even to hold on to grudges here too. So I feel like you're learning. I feel like you're learning a lot of things here when it comes to January, okay? Let's see what else we have here. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. Yeah. You know, I do feel like you're moving towards a new beginning here. I mean, there's there's definitely, you know, an energy of taking action here and no longer being like I kind of like them in this like victim like uh, energy. OK, so, you know, whatever trauma and pain that you've dealt with here, I feel like you, you will be actively sort of like working on this. OK, seven of wands here. We have the Empress. Tell me about justice and the eight of wands here. This could be an indication that you're pushing somebody away. Yeah, maybe this is this is someone, maybe this King of Wands is someone here that is trying to come back into your life, or this is the energy that, of someone here that's not letting you go, okay? You know, perhaps, you know, maybe this person was reflecting right back at you what you need to work on, such as the piece I was telling you about, about holding on and not letting go, and I feel like you are learning to do that, or that, you know, if you didn't meet this person, you wouldn't be doing the work that you're doing, that sort of thing, okay? So we got the Empress here and the Eight of Wands. So there's definitely growth and expansion here for you. There's an energy of definitely moving on and learning some big lessons here in your life. Uh, we have the Empress Libra Taurus, Page of Swords here. We have this Eight of Cups, the Chariot. Yeah, I feel like you're learning to walk away from things and people that are no longer serving you anymore. Okay, so I feel like, you know, I feel like you're having a major, major, major breakthrough here, Aquarius. This is really, really, really great. And I feel like you're going to feel really great about this, you know, major breakthrough that you're kind of, that's coming into your awareness and your consciousness. Ace of Wands here and the Three of Wands, the Nine of Wands here and the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. I do feel like your finances will improve. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like it will improve in a way where you might have a new idea where you want to start a new business here. And I feel like as you, soon as you start, start this, you know, the, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, money could be flooding in. Okay. So, um, so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did leave a comment down in the comment section below, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.